Number A is the subterranean chamber, which is picking up vibrations deep within the earth. That is transmitting vibrations up those shafts. There's two shafts, one that goes like out of the pyramid to the right, and then one that goes up into the grand gallery, and then it goes through the grand gallery into the king's chamber. Yeah, I mean, okay, the prime impulse in the in the subchamber, which is A, okay, so yes. if you are... If you're causing or driving a pulse into the earth uh, and eliciting a response, uh, then it's that's not designed to necessarily be collected in st- just in the, the subchamber, right? It's, okay. It's designed to affect the whole area under the Great Pyramid and for vibrations to flow from the earth throughout the 13 acres of the Great Pyramid. Okay. And then flow through to uh, the Grand Gallery and also uh, the, the King's Chamber. So you're collecting those vibrations throughout. <clears throat> the... Um, and then converting so, those vibrations into about airborne sound, stimulating uh, electron flow from the granite. And I identified uh, piezoelectric effect as being a uh, a principal uh, mechanism for electron flow out of the granite. That changed. That changed. Uh, after I started to do my research on the on Giza, the Tesla connection. So, what is the specific function of A, the chamber, the subterranean chamber? Uh, in the Giza power plant theory, A is a chamber that contains the means to drive vibrations into the earth. Okay, so uh, there was a mach- there was something inside the chamber underneath the inside period. Inside the chamber, yes. That yeah. would vibrate the earth. Yeah, and also at the same time, probably the pyramid. So it would serve two functions. Uh, You'd be sending vibrations not just into the earth, but also uh, into the pyramid itself. Okay. So the, yeah, the the subchamber being uh, housing the the pulse generator. Mm-hmm. Which um, there are different proposal on proposals on that how that was accomplished. Okay, there's one that uh, uh, uses hydraulics, uh, hydraulic pulse generator. Uh, John Cadman, who is a uh, marine engineer out in Bellingham, Washington, is mm-hmm. a supporter of that. And then there is the uh, the Tesla version which is um, what he called a, an earthquake machine. Yes, this was a, a fascinating part of your right. book. I had like no clue. Electro- electromechanical device that, uh, that sends timed pulses into a structure, whether, you know, whether it's a, a beam on a bridge or uh, an I-beam in a in a building in New York, which I think he, it, yeah, there's reports that he did that and almost brought the building down. Yeah, there was a story. You told the story in your book. Right. The story was fascinating. They were yeah. they were in the basement of a huge building in New York and they turned on the generator and the building started falling down around them. Right. Well, it's, I don't think anything fell off, but he was threatening to. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, had to t- he had to break the machine. I don't think he... Yeah, even... he smashed it with a hammer, right? <laughs> yes. And got the hell out of that, yeah. God. Well, resonance is a, a really powerful, powerful force when you consider it. You know, when you uh, <clears throat> when you impart energy into a uh, a system that is uh, already has a certain amount of energy and is vibrating of a particular frequency, and you catch it at a a node, right, a, a high node. Uh, an example would be a pendulum or a swinging ball. Okay, so the swinging ball comes back to you. It reaches the arc height, and then you apply energy right there. Then you put energy into it, and it goes further. And so you can start out very, very 
with very, very small movements of this. Could be a ton, you know. Um, maybe you just move it an inch. And then it swings back to you and you give it the same amount of force and it moves uh, two inches. And then it comes back to you and you step back and each time you're stepping back and by the time, you know, you can build up a, quite, a, quite a swing on that ball mm. uh, without, you know, going up to it and having to smack it with a hammer and probably break the hammer. But the, <laughs> but the, the, the point is, is that a small child could um, uh, create quite an effect just just by uh, using resonance. And then, you know, the whole idea of accumulated uh, energy. What was, the pur- building. what was the purpose of Tesla's earthquake machine? What was he trying to accomplish with that? Um, <clears throat> he, he actually uh, uh, believed and wrote that uh, he thought that you could relieve uh, earthquakes or the, the the severity of earthquakes in the earth, and that was it. Was interesting that was uh, reported. Uh, I hadn't read that when I wrote the Giza Power Plant because I had made that uh, observation in the Giza Power Plant that perhaps you know with a system for drawing energy out of the earth. Uh, one of the effects of that would be the energy that is accumulating uh, in the Earth's plates, where they push mm. push together to the point of breaking or you know rapid release, where you, where you have uh, seismic waves moving out. So going around with this machine and basically creating little mini earthquakes to avoid little some big earthquake down the line. Yes. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Yeah, that <clears throat> that was one, uh, but it, that was one of his his uh, uh, his ideas about the use of of his machine. Okay. So basically, that was in alignment with what I uh, what I was thinking. Okay, so and you you imagine something like this was down there in the subterranean chamber? Yeah. Okay. Possibly. Yeah. Okay. I think everything is everything is uh, open to uh, further research and input from other specialists. I mean, right. obviously, if you're going to start playing around with the planet, you're going to have you're going to have to uh, have geophysicists involved, and geologists involved, yeah. seismologists involved. Um, you know, you can't just willy nilly go in there and, mm-hmm. and start. Uh, <laughs> Putting vibrations into the earth in a great quantity. I, right. I don't know. 